In your health news now, a local blood donation center is bringing awareness to the urgent need for both blood and plasma donations nationwide. That's right. Our KTSM News reporter Jasmine Perry is in the studio now with more information. Good afternoon, Jasmine. Good afternoon, Stephanie and Trevor. You now at Talakris Plasma Resource, you can come to donate plasma. The senior director tells me donating plasma is a lot easier than donating blood since you can donate twice a week. And because plasma is generally water, it's easier for your body to generate it. Every year, thousands of people are in need of plasma. <laughs> And with six centers across the borderland, the global health care company Griffles produces medicine out of plasma here in the Sun City. And we collect this plasma through a network of plasma donor centers, including the centers under the name of Talacris Plasma Resources that we have in uh, El Paso. The senior director, Vlasta Haig, says the company operates a network of about 300 plasma donors across the nation, treating patients with rare and chronic conditions. Plasma is turned into several medicines. One of those medicines is used in trauma or in surgery. It's also used to help um, with certain liver diseases. We also have a medicine that helps treat people whose immune system doesn't properly work. Containing protein and antibodies for the body to function. So when somebody is missing these proteins or antibodies, they can have uh, life-threatening conditions. They could be uh, chronically sick. And what we do is we collect the plasma. We actually pull out those proteins and antibodies and produce them into medicines that treat these rare and chronic conditions. But to do that, there are certain requirements you must meet first. You must be at least 18 to 65 years old, weigh at least 110 pounds, and be in overall good health. So at every single donation, we test your blood pressure, we check temperature, we check your weight, we uh, make sure that, you know, you look good um, and we also test test your uh, protein levels in your blood to make sure that you have sufficient amounts of proteins to be able to go uh, forward with the donation. And since plasma donations are always needed. Again, we just want to make sure you're in general good health. You are able to go through the process and that uh, you're not impacted by uh, the plasma donation. Now to donate plasma, Hakes says to eat healthy meals, sleep, and be hydrated before donating. And because the process of donating takes longer, they're even offering compensation for the first-time donors of $125. The facility is open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and open on the weekends. For more information, you can go to our website at ktsm.com. I'm Jasmine Perry. Back to you guys.